So who pays $35 billion for a rival chip maker? That's AMD. What's going on team? It's Ricky with Techwood Solutions. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing Tuesday morning. It's a pretty choppy day, but in this video, I'm going to talk about AMD, what I think is going to happen and make sure you drop your thoughts down below. They announced earnings today. You guys know that I love focusing on stocks that I see to be good deals. AMD has been absolutely killing it. They announced earnings at first acted as a positive catalyst and then they also announced that difficulty pronouncing this i think it's pronounced silence i'm not too sure it's x i l l i n x but they paid 30 or they're going to pay 35 billion dollars this acquisition is set to close in 20 or by 2022 and why is this acting as a negative catalyst i want to answer that question for you first well, paying $35 billion for a rival chip maker, $35 billion is nearly what they've gained this year so far when it comes down to their market cap valuation. And if you really take that into consideration, it's almost looked for AMD and how much it's grown in just the past year. A lot of it has to do with, um, again, the idea of like this tech bubble and how a lot of these tech companies are very overvalued. So it, again, to a lot of people wasn't viewed as the best purchase price to say the least pretty much paying everything it is that you've gained in market cap valuation in one year and you pay that to acquire another company one of the things that i'm very excited for is you just know that they're investing big picture amd has pretty much taken over intel which was again the previous world leader in these manufacturers of these chips and the really cool thing about this partnership according to what i've learned about this deal is that again i have a lot of trouble pronouncing this company's name but it's silence and due to this acquisition they think that they will have the proper edge to make sure that they take over the previous market cap that intel had which will only put amd more ahead in comparison to the already falling intel corporation and the reason that this is so exciting is yeah right now the market might be pulling back just a little bit and it can continue to sell off of course if more let's say unfortunate news or there's a lot of selling pressure but one of the things that we have to take into consideration as of right now is amd was due for a pullback i mean if you guys look at it it's it's been on a strong streak for a very long period of time and if you guys look as far back as even just one year you can see that pullbacks are healthy like there's nothing wrong with a company pulling back as unfortunate news comes out it provides a lot of selling pressure and this is where a lot of long-term investors can really set themselves up for their future self and that's the reason that i'm making this video is for a lot of day traders like myself right yeah, AMD might not be something that I would care too much about, but for my long-term portfolio, AMD is killing it. AMD is investing in the future, right? We've seen Facebook make a lot of acquisitions like this where they, yeah, maybe overpay for a company as of right now, but big picture, this is an investment for the future, which will only take AMD to the next level and so on. So this is why I wanted to talk about this. I see this little pullback as a dip by opportunity. Can it continue to sell off? Of course, anything can happen, especially with all the news of the election. There could be a lot of inconsistencies when it comes down to that. But what I wanna pay attention to is on this 180 day chart, just looking at previous support levels, it's right around $75. Uh, and you can see that as soon as this earnings came out and we saw a negative catalyst, it almost tested that same general support range, which is right around $75. So I would expect there to be a potentially strong support level right there. But of course, if more unfortunate news comes out, if something to do with the election, if something to do with the second stimulus check comes out and acts as a negative catalyst, then of course we can see AMD continue to blow past that support. But that is the target that I personally want to set for myself because this is something that I would personally want to buy myself and invest big picture. Not something that I just want to buy now and sell in a week, but I can see myself and I can see simply because AMD has been out beating and outperforming their competition. I see AMD having the qualities of being a long-term investment. And you guys, again, please share your opinion. If you agree with me, great. Then comment down below. If not, and you think that Intel is going to make the greatest comeback of all time, then I want to hear it as well. Intel right now, just due to the volatility and due to how aggressive it's moving i see that to be more of either a short-term swing trade or even a day trade because of how quickly it can recover within a day when it comes down to amd we don't tend to see that volatility as often but if you guys remember amd and how it previously has traded before when it gets going and it begins to uptrend and we get confirmation 
it, it really goes and again it can go to previous support levels and this is something that i'm very excited for not just for the potential of previous support levels as of 75 dollars and the previous resistance levels of right around 88 to 90 dollars that 20 percent potential return is great but thinking big picture and how they continue to reinvest for their future self then I want to make sure that I do my part in buying when everyone else is selling in effort to hold a position and be able to seek the benefits in the future. Again, one of the things that we love to remind you is especially if you plan to buy in early that you need to watch your position size. We don't know how much more AMD can sell off. This news is very, very fresh and it can continue to sell off. And I'm just here to remind you that if you do plan to buy early, please watch your position size and effort that you can tolerate that movement and that risk as well. It's a quick stock that I quickly wanted to talk about. But again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I thought this would be a fun stock to talk about because of how trendy it has been in just the past year, its performance for the past year. It's pretty cool that they're acquiring and reinvesting into the future. And for our long-term investors, I wanted to ask you, is this something that you would personally invest in yourself or is this maybe not a niche that you personally want to get into? Let me know down in the comment section. I really hope that we earned your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you guys haven't joined our free Facebook group, that's that first link down below. And like always, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy team.